Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today, we are going to learn how you can use Blazor components inside your Angular applications with .NET 6. Now, before we continue, please remember to visit fairplaytube.pdicostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. Also, the more you help, the more frequent videos we can do. Thank you very much. You can also help by subscribing to this site if you don't have accounts in Fairplay 2. You can click the icon, click the sign in, sign up, and then you can log in or create your account in that screen. You can also share the website. So you can put your credentials in there if you already have an account. If you don't have an account, you can, you can create it using the sign up link. You can also share fairplaytube.pdicostarica.com in your social networks and invite people to use the platform okay so let's continue how you can use blazer components inside your angular applications okay so if you go to the documentation of dotnet 6 You will see that in here we have this. So there is something named Blazor Custom Elements. It is currently on experimental support, right? This is um, Microsoft has this on experimental support. It's subject to be modified or even removed at any time. But if you want to play with it and give them feedback, you can do it already. So basically there is a NuGet package that allows the custom elements, right? And you need to do a couple of things. The first thing that you need to do, for example, if you are using a Blazor server application, you do this. So use the register as custom element, right? You set the actual component and you specify the actual tag or element that will render this component from your JavaScript um, site, right? So this is, uh, let's see, let me share my Visual Studio. So this is an application that I created and basically you create an application from your um, the default Angular application. This is a default Angular template and I actually enabled Blazor over it, right? So you just go to File, New, Project, you look for no, not this one. You look for Angular and you select ASP.NET Core with Angular and you create your application. Then you will have an Angular application and a couple of things you need to do. You need to enable Blazor server side uh, because I wanted to work with Blazor server side in this case, right? So at Blazor server side, configure the options so I add this register as custom element a component name blazor list right and it's going to be rendered when I use this element or tag inside my HTML right the other thing that I need to do in this case is map the blazor hub now for some re I had some issues uh, of my component not being 
not rendering actually there are some issues still it's rendering but there it's behaving something weird and the way to be able to render it at the moment it's using this transport the long polling with which is not ideal so i don't know if this is maybe because i started with the angular template or for some other reason right um so i need to verify that but meanwhile this is how i did it now this blazor list is a component created under the blazor components folder this blazor list the only thing that it has is okay a title blazor list it has some text in there it evaluates there is a variable in there if user list is not equal to null then bring the user's parag uh, paragraph with users inside it then uh, create a list an HTML list right actually a bootstrap list and for each element in the array we are going to print a list item right and we are only going to show the name property then i have this button on click see that the on click is going to execute this on button click which is in here right the button is going to show click me uh, we, we have here the code section for this component. We inject the JavaScript runtime, right? We receive the user list as a parameter. This one is not required. I was doing some tests. And this on button click is the method defined. And we only, we are only just calling the alert and showing button clicked right and now this is the blazor portion right then before i forget the other thing that you need to do is you need to go to your client app source index.html and you need to add these two scripts the blazor custom elements.js and the blazor.server.js also before i forget the other thing that you need to do for this to be able to have this script is you actually need to add this package right i actually mentioned it earlier microsoft.aspnet core components.custom elements so you need to add that package is currently on alpha right so it's not um, production ready and it's just experimental as far as i know but you can play around you can play around with it so yeah you need to add the blazor custom js and since we are using blazor server you need to add the blazor server script once you have all that ready the other thing that you need to do is you need to go to any place you want to print the component. So in this case, I am going to print my Blazor component in here. So this is my Angular component and I added a couple of things in there, right? I deleted the, the initial content and customized it a little bit. Hello world, right? That's there. Hello angular users and i print the the user's object just to verify that uh, it's not null uh, just for development purposes right and then i am creating the list for each of the items in there and i print item name and then I print another section which is this blazor component below right and i print it even there so if the user's variable has something render the blazor list component and this tag is the one that we specified 
on our startup on our program CS. I'm sorry, right? So basically, when Angular finds this tag, it will render this component. And the way to pass the parameters is like this, right? The same Angular binding, and you pass the um, the variable. The variable currently is defined in here, right? It has just a test and name the Dennis, right? And that's it. Now let's see that running. So let me see. So this is my application already running. And you see that in here, I have this Angular with Blazor, right? I have the first section of the, the Angular portion. And here I have the section for the Blazor component, right? And the button was inside the Blazor component and it was showing a, um, an alert, right? So if I click it, we see this button click. Okay. So that's one of the ways in which you can use your laser components inside your Angular applications. And it's really, really good. Now there are some caveats at the moment, which I'm not sure if it was because of the way I did implement it. So I am going to run my application again. And let me share my screen again. No, not that one. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so the application just started and there are a couple of things that um, is not, are not behaving very well. So you see if I refresh this, it shows the button, it shows the um, the text, right? I can interact with the button. Currently it is in a breakpoint and I can continue, right? However, you see that the variable is already set in here, but it's not set or I don't have the list of users being rendered in my Blazor component because for some reason at the moment, the user's list variable in the Blazor component is null despite the Angular already filling it. So I'm not sure if I may have something weird in the way I implemented that, right? Uh, but I actually defined the variable inside the Angular component. So I don't exactly know why, what's going on in there, right? Uh, maybe I need to force to call the... Uh, there was a way to call or refresh the changes in Angular. So I don't know if I may need to do something like that. Who knows? But yeah, the way uh, I fix it at the moment, or the way I am testing actually, is I just move to the other page and come back to here. And there it is. It shows it. Um, but yeah, this is a small draft on how you can use the Angular 
the Blazor components inside your Angular applications. Um, Microsoft has these uh, as experimental packages, right? As you saw, the, uh, the Nougat package is actually in alpha. Um, they are pretty much testing this, right? And they expect your feedback. And I see really, really good future for it, um, especially because the more components that you have defined on your as Blazor components, the more reusable code that you will have through all of your web-based .NET applications. And even in JavaScript, if you can convert this, right? Because as you saw, this is pretty much just allowing uh, JavaScript to use and instantiate your Blazor components. So yeah, you will be able to reuse that pretty much in every single front-end um, framework, I guess. Uh, so it's, it's really, really good. Also, um, you have more centralized testing because everything will be on C Sharp, right? At least your components and your backend if you are using .NET as backend, right? So yeah, this is really good. Uh, remember, visit fairplay2.pdicostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon and select a donation of your preference. Let us know everything you will want to learn about .NET Core, Blazor, Unity 3D, and Microsoft Azure. Have a great day.